Hey Mike, sorry to drag you down here in this dungeon, talk some <laughs> movies. <laughs> Remember this movie Incubus? I do, we watched yeah. it back in college. Yeah, you showed this to me and uh, I remember it had this trailer on there because William Shatner's in this movie. <laughs> So we did a video on this a while back. It was top 10 shitty Shatner movies. And actually, I don't think this is a shitty movie. I think yeah. it's actually pretty good. Well, William it's, Shatner thought it was shitty. Yeah, there was a, there, it's funny, there was a, a Q&A uh, at a panel he did with Nimoy and they were, uh, they were talking about Incubus. And, Sh and Shatner had a lot to say about it. Like he was saying, you know, it, it was filmed entirely in Esperanto and you know, he, he went into the whole history of it. And then Nimoy asks, so was it a good movie? Was it interesting? He goes, no. Yeah. <laughs> so what's funny to me is that Shatner was doing not so good movies prior to Star Trek mm. and then not so good movies after Star Trek. So he had a whole history of- Yeah, it was early 66, yeah. I think, yeah. I do but want to mention though, he mm -hmm. has done some good movies. They're not, oh, they yeah, were yeah. all shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now available from Windstar Home Video. So it was made by director Leslie Stevens who did The Outer Limits and Shatner was on The Outer Limits, a That's couple episodes. That's why he probably got into this. Yeah, wow. and he was in a couple uh, Twilight Zones, of course. The, um, everybody knows that Twilight Zone episode, the, you know, the Nightmare at 20,000 Feet, mm -hmm. but those Outer Limits ones are really funny. Remember the one where he's in the space suit? Yeah, 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 that one. He makes some crazy he's like, just facial making faces, expressions. And, and there's a monster coming in through the portal of the ship. Uh, <laughs> basically, if you just take Shatner making a crazy facial expression, and combine that with some goofy looking monster, you have cinematic magic. Yeah. Lost in a film vault in France for nearly 35 years. So this movie was lost for 35 years until they found a copy in France. But the original idea was to film the whole movie in the language of Esperanto. I wonder if it was um, lost on purpose because it was so oh, I don't know. <laughs> well, I mean, well, we'll get into that because yeah. it has merits. It definitely does. Yeah. But uh, the idea was that Esperanto is a universal language and people speak it all over the world. Mm. Um, the idea was that, um, you know, they would appeal to a wide market. Although what they didn't consider was you're not going to be able to fill a movie theater with all Esperanto speaking people. So uh, yeah, I never thought um, about that. Yeah. yeah. Cause you're not going to find enough people in big numbers in one spot. Didn't so. it have something to do with like Gene Roddenberry also? I think he wanted to film Star Trek in that. Yeah. Could you imagine if no. Star Trek was in Esperanto? That would have been bad. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care. From what I saw and heard from like those people that have learned the language, uh, apparently the actors in the movie didn't really do the best job. Like they mispronounce a lot of the Esperanto. Yeah. Like it's not actually, it's not good Esperanto. Yeah. They weren't native speakers. They mispronounce this made up language. So it's a, yeah. big, it's a big deal. Hey, do uh, you know any Esperanto? Oh, you got, oh, you got. No, I don't. Packed with gorgeous blondes, satanic sacrifices. So this movie, it, it came out right before all the hype about uh, like satanic cults and like, you know, evil material like uh, Rosemary's Baby, The Exorcist, The Omen. Mm -hmm. This was kind of right before that phase happened. So what it's about, roughly, just in a nutshell, this movie, uh, Shatner plays this soldier named Mark who returns from the war and um, he's seduced by a succubus who are like a female demon that seduces men, mm -hmm. but then they actually end up falling in love. But she has a sister succubus who gets pissed off that um, she's not gonna like kill him or whatever. Mm -hmm. so succubus, then... this movie sucks, all right. <laughs> yeah, good one. Uh, <laughs> so um, the sister succubus raises an incubus, which is the opposite. It's like a male demon. Right. So then Shatner has to go head to head with all these demons and shit and there you go. So it's mostly about like the succubuses, but like is the is the monster at the end, is that like the demon? Is that, oh, the goat? Is that incubus? Oh, yeah, the goat. It's the, yeah, the incubus turns into the goat at the end. <laughs> okay, and then, that's um, right. And then wrestles with the girl, which is really weird the way it's shot because they, they keep showing this fake goat head but then they cut to like these fake hooves yeah because you can and, see uh, like the the tongue coming out of the mouth and stuff so it's yeah. like stock footage of a goat combined with um or maybe they shot it i don't know i had uh thought that mm -hmm. it was uh, you know my memory you know mm -hmm. like mandela effect mm -hmm. i had thought that it was william shatner because i i was like in my head i'm like oh yeah it's kind of like when he fought the mugatu or the gorn yeah, yeah and then I he know. watched the movie he doesn't it's it's the girl who's fighting yeah i mean shatner is like he's like in the church watching mm -hmm. We mentioned that he does not fight the goat. He does fight the incubus, though, who turns oh, into the goat later. Yeah. 
And that the scene where he's fighting the Incubus has that awkward fight choreography, which he would be known for. Mm -hmm. Jumping up against the walls and doing the karate yeah, chops. Yeah, it's stuff. kind of like, I remember like a part where he has the knife and he's just like, kind of like, he, he almost looks like he's like dancing with it or something. Right. He was always like slamming into background objects, kind of like you just did. Yeah, right there. he <laughs> bumped the lantern there. <laughs> So I mentioned there's some good merits with this movie, and um, so let's get to that. Okay. Um, I think it's mainly the cinematography is great. It's by uh, Conrad Hull, who later won an Academy Award for uh, right. American Beauty. I feel like this might be a good thing if you want to like throw mm -hmm. throw that stuff on the back in the background on the TV at like a Halloween party. That that could mm -hmm. work. But the fact that it's like you yeah, can't yeah. understand the movie unless you happen to speak that language kind of oh, hurts, well, hurts it a little bit. Well, I mean, it's subtitled. I mean, that, that's not well, a problem. True, it's, true. it's like you know, it's like any movie that that's subtitled. Now earlier we talked about how you know they couldn't get the people into the theater yeah. because it was an Esperanto. But you know the fact that it's subtitled, well, it's kind of like well, people don't people go to see movies that are subtitled so what not as much i think yeah. that's that's the problem is just that a lot of people don't want to watch subtitled movies i think that that might be yeah. what hurt it the best shot in the whole movie which you have to mention we got to show show a picture of that so eight minutes in there is a shot where the succubus is killing the first victim she's stepping on his head forcing his face into the the sand under the water mm -hmm. and you're just thinking some poor guy is holding they did his, that right yeah like there is no way to fake it sure. some guy is holding his breath with somebody's foot on him like yeah it's just hard to imagine like how that was done but i mean the guy and, probably just held his breath and yeah you know. but like what if like some what if he, he needed to come up like you know how would he let them know right um it's but it just looks nice too. It's just like this really creepy, disturbing shot. Yeah. Um, now that was filmed on the beach. Is that around the same area of the movie where the guy's sucking on the egg? No, it comes later. But yeah, it, it's near. That's near the beginning too. But it's okay. after that. Yeah. Yeah. There's a guy holding a frog while sucking on an egg, and they, they don't explain it or anything. It's just I like, feel like that's just. It's already Esperanto. I think that's just like some art house shit. They were throwing it around. Because what mm. does that mean? <laughs> it, it what just, does it mean? What does it mean? It, there's this like <laughs> satanic cult and there's like all this weird, you, you know, when you get into all that stuff, it's just kind of like, like, oh, well maybe that's like some like custom that has to do with that. I don't know. Okay. Maybe, right. there is, I, maybe there is, maybe there is. I like your point. defense of the egg. Yeah. There's this one shot where there's this window frame and you're looking through it and there's this big wind machine that's blown all the grass and that was a cool shot. There's really good lighting on Shatner's face. Mm -hmm. That part always sticks out to me. I, d just, I do remember that. Yeah. You know, well lit Shatner face is always mm -hmm. good. You remember the, the they'd always do like those lighting shots in yeah. Star Trek. Those really weird, like mm -hmm. they're just lighting your eyes, but the rest of everything. Kind of like Lugosi dark. and yeah. Dracula, yeah. It's true, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah. Wrapping this up, basically, I think it's a really good atmospheric horror film, but it is kind of uneven. It's a little bit you know, it's, it's, it just has a bizarre nature to it. You know, it's really funny. There's the trailer on the DVD, which you showed me in college. The trailer is great. The tra trailer makes it very entertaining. Yeah. yeah if nothing else, it, just watch that. It's not a vintage trailer. It's a trailer they made a after. It's a DVD trailer. It's a DVD trailer. They put it out after, and it says, Packed with satanic rituals, resurrection of the dead, and William Shatner. According to the DVD, there was a curse. Um, Leslie Stevens, director, his production company went bankrupt and he got divorced. One of the actors killed his girlfriend and then committed suicide. So one of the actresses also committed suicide and the daughter of another actress was kidnapped and murdered. So this was kind of like one of those, yeah, those like cursed movies, yeah. you know? Isn't, so, isn't like Poltergeist, isn't that one of the, like the other yeah, cursed? Yeah, Poltergeist had a bunch of stuff happen, yeah. Top 10, um, top 10 cursed horror movies. Mm, maybe. If there is that many. Mm. <laughs> Here's a curse for you. Fuck you!